Actually, through the freaking gate, we oh, had all kinds of. Time. You know, I don't even eat breakfast. Oh, yeah. I like a ponytail though. Y'all, why is the Chick fil A line so long? Like, I, I don't get the hype behind Chick fil A. Like, I really don't. Am I the only one who doesn't like it? Yeah, I don't get the hype behind Chick fil A. Like, I really don't. Am I the only one who isn't crazy about Chick fil A? Or that thinks that Chick fil A is overrated? Leave a comment below. Can I just get a microwave because I have a family? Y'all just need a woman. I spend my fucking money at Wendy's, bitch, because I want to throw this shit back in their face. You always want to throw shit back in their face. <laughs> and I don't want to. I got the baconator. I don't want that shit. Like, it's like that. That shit is cold. Like, bitch, this is ice. Like, cold. Like, it's cold. What the fuck are you doing? Are you retarded? So, what did they say? Bitch, I asked her for cheese and she gave me a cold. <laughs> this bitch. But guys, seriously, everything was like every roadblock that could possibly happen mm -hmm. happened to getting here, like from no car. Literally. To drive to Houston. Exactly. Hell. My fuck, fuck my hair. hair about oh to be my canceled. God. Thank God this girl had a good heart. Oh my God. Seriously. Because I, I really showed up like hours, hours late. Like every, nothing was coming together. But I'm definitely going to explain this whenever I have some sit down time. But like I said, we were faced with every obstacle. But by the grace of God, we made it. We're here. we in Houston. Got my hair done. we at the airport. Now we're just waiting on our flight. So, uh, yeah, by the time that you see me again, I will be in LA. Bridge gang, about to talk, baby. Got like four ounces in the 20 ah. bitch. Hey. 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 Did a lot of shit just to live this here lifestyle We oh, yeah. came straight from the bottom to the top of my lifestyle Nigga living life like a forgetting this is only beginning Nigga I'm on the top of the mouth puffing on clouds and nigga still beginning So we made it to the mother freaking Airbnb in Los Angeles y'all when I say this location could not be any better, bro, like, it doesn't make no sense. Like, 10 out of 10, this is definitely like a 11 out of 20. Also, the, the Hollywood sign is right there. They have like a whole bunch of different It's just super nice. Super nice. I'm about to turn the camera over and actually, like, uh, show you guys. First tour of the Airbnb. So you come in, you see this room in one room. This is the bathroom, y'all. Shit just live this here lifestyle. Yeah. You got a lot of people, you got a lot of people. But girl, it's in Hollywood, like we in the middle of Hollywood and Hollywood Boulevard. Like when I tell you, we're literally like five minutes away from everything. Now that things settled down and now that I'm inside and can fucking actually breathe now, I'm a runner, y'all. My fucking issues and what it even took for me to get here, cause y'all don't understand. Expectations versus reality is fucking real because 
she was just going downhill at first y'all and i ain't gonna lie i was getting discouraged my emotions was like every fucking weird but um i actually got on a few um notes like kind of like what i want to do while i'm down here but anyway y'all so let's just start because shit just really started getting crazy from my car situation so i was at work this is literally a day before i was about to get ready to come out here so this is may the 8th i had work i came outside in my freaking car was gone 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 gone, gone. gone. So that's just a long story as far as like exactly what happened but y'all like this right here I'm trying to let the camera focus but it don't even matter just know that this is my car being towed away without them leaving a number or anything so it's just like what the fuck bro being that this did happen and it was so fucking unexpected i didn't know where my car was um it just led me to ultimately like being late because i had to go to houston to get my hair done so i missed my appointment in houston i literally begged this lady to get me in y'all she waited like five hours outside of my scheduled time to like get me in for my hair appointment like i was freaking out things just wasn't going right like my hair situation like just my car and even getting up there y'all and i had just filled my whole tank up 40 dollars worth of gas and didn't even get to um bring my car drive my car to houston because i would have made it to my hair appointment but even reminded from all that i la really wasn't even in the plans like i was supposed to have went to pensacola i planned you know a trip the birthday trip period like that didn't go right with the pensacola stuff getting all my girls together so me and my best friend, we always wanted to go to LA, so bam. Last minutely, we scheduled this LA trip because we don't don't even supposed to be here. Um, <laughs> I'll take that. Hopefully, hell, we meet some people. I hope we do because y'all, this is a place where I, we kind of just really talked about even like living, but not to get off track or anything. But shit, oh my god, y'all. So I'm already flushed about that. I'm like, what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do. Bam, we plan this LA trip. Now it's like financially, we on a whole nother price range and it's only the two of us versus like the six girls that I originally had. I didn't know how it was gonna come together, but I'm like, damn, I really wanna do something. Like for the first time, I wanna do something for my birthday and nothing is working out. You know, like it was just a bunch of crazy stuff happening. My emotions was like everywhere to where I could not even like record y'all, like seriously. But I got my hair done so, um, and we made the flight. We're here. Everything flows smoothly with the Airbnb. So it's up now. It's good now. Now I'm just trying to see like where the hell the smoke at because um, <laughs> if you don't know, it's legal. <laughs> it's legal hair. You know when people do that after like you said that the first time it's like you want me to stop you. So is this no, the part no, where I'll be I'm like serious. I'm serious, I'm just saying you know for real. You know I gotta take the keys, so you gotta stay here. Obviously, but what's your phone for sitting on? Okay, that's the only thing, it's on four. I'm gonna let it get to 20 and then I'm gonna go. Okay. I'm gonna let it get to 50 and then I'm gonna go. Okay. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So excited. So excited. <laughs> Cause I didn't think I was gonna be like, oh my fuck. Should've did this shit before I left, but now I get to still do it. What are you talking about? I'm talking about a birthday surprise, sis. It's gonna be so cute. You're gonna be so happy. <sighs> Any fucking way. I, I, don't, I don't fucking know. She could just be pushing. But yeah, my birthday is. In less than 24 hours. Less than 24 hours. It's gonna be 12 o'clock and it's gonna be my birthday. And it's never too late. You know, if, you, if you're watching this vlog right now, you know, you still wanna show some love to your girl. You know, my cash app is Brianna Banks XO. <laughs> Okay, 
Your girl 20, 20, so if turning 24. Y'all can definitely cash out me and I'll give it to them. Uh, <laughs> don't listen to this bitch. <laughs> but, um, I'm an honest person. She already know. I'm gonna give it to her. How do you? You hear them crickets? <laughs> You give them my cash app, sis, just in case they can't go. Give them you know what, girl? Nothing, saying, nothing is even going wrong. I'm just saying. Nothing is even going wrong with my stuff, girl. Oh my That's god, crazy. Listen, you, it's never, it's never a bad idea to have a backup. That's what I'm saying. You can always have a backup. Drop in the comments to let me know if y'all had a hard time sending me <laughs> some cash. <laughs> But you gotta try first. You have to try first to even see if it works. So go ahead and do a little test run right now. You know, just go ahead and send a little twenty in. Nothing much, just a little twenty. You know, <laughs> You know, if you a kid under thirteen or whatever, go go get your mama car, your daddy car. Everybody just sent twenty four dollars. Twenty four dollars. What's up, man, squad? I don't even know, like, why I'm back on here. I feel conflicted right now. 23 and before, you know, like, I just feel like young, vibrant, you know, um, optimistic, figuring it out. Now that I look forward to 24, I don't know, it's kind of like bittersweet right now. 20s is just tricky, man. Like, you feel like you're too young to have it all together, but you're too old to not have it all together, you know? And I'm guessing I'm overthinking because this is my life right now. Like, I'm in LA, things are feeling good. Like, well, things are gonna feel good. I'm gonna turn up, but then I'm gonna be going right back to this lifestyle where I have to deal with getting my car back or getting another car. Um, in real life, it's gonna hit me again. You know, like this isn't my life. You know, I don't know, man. Like I'm gonna be 24, and then I'm gonna be 30. <laughs> Tomorrow, y'all might see me cutting up on this fucking vlog. Like, girl, look at you. Your ass was up there sad or whatever, and you over there turning up like you know. Fuck. Well, I can't wait till it come. Cause right now, y'all, I just I don't know. I'm in LA. But it's almost like I'm not here. You know what I mean? So before I came to LA, y'all, like I just had all of these things of like how I knew that I would feel, you know, and I'm just not feeling it. Um, but I know that that's because of the circumstances and it could just be to get into it with my friend. And I'm supposed to be vlogging, you know, like, and, and obviously if it's only two of you guys and y'all got into it, you know, like, it doesn't mean that you can just leave when you want to. I mean, y'all still have to be like this, you know, going everywhere. You still have to talk. You have to push through. And I guess that's the most challenging part for me right now. It's just like, fuck, like, God, do I not supposed to be here? Like, what is it? We're going to just start this day over tomorrow and hopefully it just get better. I pray that 24 just brings me more wisdom you know because obviously i'm getting older and i have to evolve i have to go with the flow you know and i just pray that la is everything that i pictured it to be um i pray that i <laughs> what the fuck? i pray that um that i get encouraged you know um, I pray that I get motivated being here to chase my dreams even harder because I don't want to go back to Baton Rouge. I really don't, y'all. I don't mind living in LA and chasing my dreams, you know. And that's far fetched for a lot of people, but it's realistic for me, you know. Um, I just pray that I can take something back with me that's going to give me, that's going to only amp my fire up, you know, because I've been having this fire behind me for some time, um, despite how I may feel right now. So I just pray that, like, just being here, it makes me leave with a fire behind me that's going to ultimately get me out of there, get me out of Baton Rouge and get me to where I want to be. 